What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 page or you can catch me out at www.whatsupinthesky.com and uh, here's another one of those Egypt style pictures that I, I come across every once in a while. Um, I've got to double check. I think this was from the Opportunity Rover. All the information will be below. Um, for the people who just want to usually come see the anomaly and roll, but this is one of those pictures you're just going to have to take a look at for yourself. I can't really give you uh, one pinpoint anomaly to pull out. I'm going to pull backwards and let you see how the whole thing is. To me, this actually has everything from the geometric shapes to something that looks like it's actually had an explosion or it shook violently that um, it was able to crack these rocks in such a way, whether there was a uh, a volcanic avenue or volcanic uh, um, activity or some sort of seismic activity along those lines let me show you what the area looks like and it, it looks briefly it looks like the uh, if you look at some of my videos to the side below however you pull them up it looks like one of the ones that says uh, Egyptian statue found on Mars and uh, once again it's a black and white very very get the tip version of it there's two there's two versions out on the website and um, to me this looks like it could have been a very beautiful site at one time and what we'll do is I'm gonna start with where I think maybe some of the uh, carvings are like we have this right here that comes down and I'm going to pull it in and I also think we got some hieroglyphics on here as well now let's just take a look at this um, see how it's almost like we've got a snake or something it's not a snake I think it's something that was actually drawn in there that's on top of something so it's actually been chiseled and beveled it's like there would be the bottom part and uh, you see this in Egypt where like uh, like the Sphinx, like a lot of those, the Sphinx for the people, I can't say Sphinx, Sphinx, for some reason I can't say it, sorry guys, <laughs> um, for some reason it looks like they used what was there and created this, um, and you see a lot of shading in here as if somebody tampered with this, I can prove it was definitely not me, um, I'll give it to you, let me go ahead and I'll reset it to where how we got it. All I did was when I got it was add a little bit of sharpness to it, just a tad, and maybe give it just a little bit of exposure. Um, now let's go ahead and we'll focus on a couple things and I'll let you guys go. I won't keep this long. I've got some really good curiosity ones. I like showing these to you guys because they're not really being shown that much more on the internet. I think that the curios are, the curiosity just come blown away the other rovers. But I tell you what, Spirit and Opportunity had some awesome discoveries while it was out roaming around. Um, so let's go over here to where I think we've got some maybe some, uh, let's see some of our first anomalies now some where was that at down here something this is towards the bottom you've got a lot of these 90 degree angles and that's not where I was getting at along this ridge here let me check this out see how you've almost got a shield looking cut onto it as if it was maybe shaped that way um, you still see the grains running through it which is beautiful if these were like this looks like the uh, you know, Arizona that area of the United States is totally beautiful how the wind and the sand has uh, formed these and I in my head I'm seeing some some carvings and some man-made uh, objects here or Martian made however you want to put it now let me back up one more time and see if we can't find the uh, carvings I was talking about. Every time I get into this picture I get so so deep into it that I find something different or something looks a little bit different as before. Um, so let me see if I can jack the exposure up really really high for this picture right here. Okay. Now the rocks, see how these actually when you when you bring up the exposure this does not look like a cut. That actually looks to be something growing on top of it. Um, it doesn't seem to have the deep darkness that something like right here would have or maybe that right there let me pull that back down now this right here almost looks like it was notched out as well see it let's see I've got to find that one spot for you I need to start marking these down with the red see if I put the red dots on here before the video then everybody says I photoshopped it so I want to make it you know keep it a little bit to the imagination and not show you where everything I see is because I want you to go down the whole purpose of this is that you go download these photos come back and comment and tell me what you think so I thought this was neat over here like this is kind of a uh, if, you, if you were to say this little circle is an ear it almost looks like a mummy 
something that was mummified and left out there um, for the people in the valley to see. Not that it, you know, out of out of rock like you see in Egypt where they have all those effigies. Um, and wherever you see the stuff start to flatten out a little bit, you get a collection of either it's sand, stuff that's fallen down from the top, or something that was placed there. I still haven't seen the really good version of what I thought was writing earlier. Um, oh, there we are. Right here. Bingo. Now, it's going to be small. Let me just go ahead and bring it in pretty big for you guys. I'm looking in this area right here. Now, let me pull back out. Give it... and. And basically up through here too. See how this just isn't all the way across. This actually has it looks like a pattern to it here. It like it's been like it's been shaped that way. Then you've got these strands that run down. And then once again over here you get these really interesting platforms where you've got stuff sitting on the platforms, almost like they were built to hold whatever was there. Or, you know, maybe it was just built out of that. But I would imagine this this looked a lot prettier than it did. And at some time there was either a cataclysm war that made it look like this, that brought it to this level. Um, let me focus a little bit on the top stuff over here because there's still a lot of stuff. You're going to see some of the stuff here and say, why didn't you mention that? Why didn't you mention that? That's why I've got comments on these open. Come on, come down, let me know what you think. Now let me pull up the exposure a little bit. Now let's take a look at some of these because I did find some interesting stuff over here. I see a lot of these clamshell looking rocks. Um, these you saw I think in Russia here in, in on the earth where they had a lot of those coming out of the uh, just coming out you know of the of the dirt. It was pretty amazing how they would just show up and they almost look perfect. Um, v lad's got a couple good videos on them. He calls them the Vomanas, um, what they look like. and. You can see how they've got some intricate carvings to them here. And when I say carvings, the wind could have carved this, you know, people could have carved this. This is not one of those pictures I can say this is definitive proof of anything other than whatever's going on on Mars, there are some awesome pictures up there. Um, whether I can say, you know, this was the anomaly of the century, no, I can't say that because I can't even pinpoint one or two that are very spectacular other than taking in the whole thing as one. And uh, and seeing if you can't take a you know, take a gander at it. Um, okay, let's, well yeah, here we go. See how this is raised up, and you've got from here to here, and then cut down there. That's that's fairly symmetric. Now, if you follow this around, it looks like it's curved back to here. And what kind of irks me around this is that these shadows are putting off shadows. See how the shadows are intermixed? Almost like they've been put there to hide something. Um, or not necessarily, well, either hide something. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what they seem like they put there for. Now, you could take a couple, yeah, take, take a look at this over and over. You're going to see these lines going across the top of it, which usually you just see the lines heading this way. Um, now that right here is an obvious crack to me. See, now that's what a crack would look like. Here's what a crack would look like. This type of stuff right here looks like it's kind of running on top of it. Now, let's take a quick look at the... Uh, there's one other spot I saw, and of course I can't find it now, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you be. I'm gonna let you guys go with this video. I'll have some more curiosities, some more pictures, some more lunar rover pictures, some not lunar rover, some more uh, lunar orbiter pictures. Uh, take a look at some of this stuff. Let me know what you think. This could just be a crazy outcropping, and you know, in a way, I've leaned towards that. But just with some of the neat features of it, I thought this was one you guys would like. Let me know what you think. Much love. What's up in the sky .com. What's up in the sky at 37? Hit subscribe. Much love. Peace to everybody.